but you also know that it's bad for you. Yeah. And you know that you can't do this all the time. And it's not something that you're doing in secret and you're kind of doing by yourself. You can be a casual drinker, but you can be an alcoholic. Yeah. And it's the same thing with, with a, you can be a casual jacker, but you could be an obsessive <laughs> exactly. jackaholic. Jackaholic. Just a casual jacker. Did, did you guys? All right, we were just having a discussion about what, in fact, what what make what make a simp? Uh, let me tell you guys, I got this. Yeah. I'll take the floor. Uh, massive insecurity, crippling insecurity. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good prerequisite. Are you speaking from a place of such deep knowledge on yeah, this? Yeah, why'd you jump in like <laughs> Jordan Peterson? <laughs> have some people ever, might say ever, I'm a simp. <laughs> have, some people think, uh, you know, this is my wheelhouse. Have you ever paid for simpness though? Like even a quarter? No. Uh, no. Never, uh, no. Then I don't think it qualifies you as the. But you can be a simp in other ways. Okay, what's the other ways? Just like, are you mad at me? Like that? Asking my wife if you're <laughs> mad at me. Um, asking her if like was something I something, did I do something to annoy you? You think that's simping? If you're no, like, no, 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 no. But that's oh, different oh, oh. than someone spending like a grand a month on ah. OnlyFans. Okay, maybe I just don't know. I think the definition of simping. Then maybe I just had it all wrong. How much? How much money do you have to? Do you have to minimize on OnlyFans spending to stay from being a simp? I think if you, me personally, maybe I'm just cheap, but if you spend money on OnlyFans, you, you, you have like five accounts, I think. What about you do the one dollar? Five accounts? Like, I'm in for the one dollar. I'm here for the one dollar. Is that a month? Is that simp? Oh, no. Yeah, one dollar. 12 bucks a year? Mm, Is that that's simp? not well, also, simp. Also, like, it depends on how you use OnlyFans. It's like, are you falling in love with a girl are that's a top, top, 5.5% creator and she has hella people, but you think you're so special? Well, you are, you're top 5%. You earned it. No, I mean like, you're the one sipping on her. No, yeah, I know that. Yeah. So it's like... <laughs> <laughs> so it's an even lower percentage yeah, yeah, if you yeah, get yeah. the love of... I think it's, yeah. it's $1 equals 1% simp. If you spend one dollar, you like one. So a hundred dollars is a hundred percent. Yeah, if you spend a hundred bucks a month. <laughs> so hey, actually, that's a good. One percent is a dollar. That's fair. That's that's a great way of putting. It. And also, but there's physical like in life, in real life, simp's too. You know what I mean? Like, like in real life, simp is like dudes that be like friend zoned and they shower their homegirl with gifts and then they think that that's yeah. gonna get them laid. But then like in real life, they're not really friends. He's mad, like madly in love with her. Yeah, he I just this yeah. world's sweetest prom right. proposal and gets a no. I just look at it like it's the guy who's where the ball's not in their court and they're just constantly digging the hole deeper. Yeah, yeah. and they're just like. Well, because there's, I think okay. there's a difference between all of that, right? Like people that you know personally in real life, and you're yeah. simping for that person. There's um, also like fake online. You're buying affection, right? I'm just, let's let's paint variables that might make it make sense, though, right? Because we have to be empathetic. Imagine like you struck out for like years. Like you just cannot get somebody. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then imagine you also don't have that same relationship with money for whatever reason. You don't look at like, I need to save for this because I don't have oh, a family okay. to pay for. I don't have like a whatever these types of goals. You just happen to be that person. Not everybody has relationships with money the same. So then you have this outlet where for like 12 bucks a month, this fucking way the hell out of your league girl is going to give you attention. She's not gonna be yours. But when she is talking to you, that's your moment. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? And she's yeah. saying shit that you'll never fucking hear in your life. I don't like when you do this. Mm, yeah. And she's showing you things so. that you'll never <laughs> fucking do. I don't like when you make it. 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 There's the exclusivity thing that you feel in your head. It's like, it's like you're like, hey, uh, I'll pay you this if you send me this. And then, so they send it to you, so you think you're the only one in the world who got that. Can I say something? I think OnlyFans is you lying to yourself. <laughs> that's my biggest issue with it. You know what I mean? Like, quick note, this isn't like your personal diary episode. <laughs> <laughs> Nick. <laughs> so let's just make sure we keep it. From it's just funny because I know like what Kat does on OnlyFans, right? She rates dudes' dicks and degrade them on that. So like, there's a guy that's looking for a deep personal connection and feels special from Kat talking shit about his small dick. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, he's going to a place, the only place where he can go to talk to someone who will just give him exactly what he wants. Yeah. yeah. But that's also a sick, like, reverse OnlyFans, right? Oftentimes, you would assume that you're paying the chick to send, like, their news or something. 
she's got the other way where she doesn't even necessarily have to send nudes because she's getting nudes and then just saying shit about him. I heard the most successful OnlyFans stuff are the kinks and then the weird shit. And then like, I remember, what's her name? Um, Trisha Paytas was crushing it, just eating food and being naked or like mm -hmm. fucking and doing like weird stuff with food. And then That like, makes sense. I mean, you can get something you won't get somewhere else. Yeah. So I don't know if OnlyFans is the best example, but I think what I what I think about when, when I think about Simpton is guys that are buying affection whether it's like in real life or um, online, and they're somehow believing that that's real, even though it's clearly a catfish, it's clearly like, dude, is she's a, not is even- Is affection the line? So for example, like let's say a guy pays a buck to get uh, kind words, like words of affirmation, versus a guy that pays a thousand dollars, but he's just jacking to her. Is one worse than the other because one is like emotions and the other? Isn't it all relativity? What if the guy who's paying a thousand dollars is a billionaire? What if the guy who's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, what does it matter? But I think if it's emotionally it's connected, not. then you're you're actually going to be affected in your life outside of that. I think it's delusion because I think it's delusion. Like, if I was going on to OnlyFans, I'm going there to come. And there's no relationship. <laughs> it's like I go to the strip so straight club. Up, yeah. If I get a lap dance at a strip club yeah. and the girls go, "You're not like other guys. Like you're like cool and special." Like I'm like, like I'm, I'm here to marry, bust. I'm, I'm, marry, I'm here to dude. fucking bust. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on one knee, dude. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm gonna ask dude. her to marry me. But they all they all say like that's the game. Like they're they're to make you feel special. In that moment, you play along. Cool. You go home. Whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. But there's guys that actually believe. Yeah. Me? But then it's like Anthony. I'm, I'm the young. They like me because like they like young guys. Like, but it's maybe not even. I'm not that like deep. the other guys. Though. Yeah. It, yeah. I, I don't think it's. Uh, it may. It may not even be that deep. It might just be whatever chemical went up from her saying that. They just want that again. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So it's that. it's they they're not, not, probably not even thinking that they believe it or not. It's just yeah. I just felt good. Because yeah. in in Anthony's example, it's like most might be like they never had that attention from women they can't even differentiate yeah. they just know that that right. feels good it just feels good yeah, yeah. whatever it is that's why i think there's also a point in like maybe defining what delusion is and maybe also self-awareness because mm -hmm. to some people on like in the whole like simp spectrum even if you're not if it's not real sex it's delusion Mm. So even on Jack into Porto is delusion. You're not really having sex. You're having sex with your hand or whatever. You're watching people. So I feel like what is the full spectrum? Is there a healthy amount of simping or I don't know? The funny thing is um, a friend of mine who did sugar dating for a lot of time, she said that she would get the most money by just being very honest and saying that like, I'm really like, poor right now, I need money for this, I need money. Like, it's not like, oh, if you give me $1,000, I'll do this. It's like, she's actually talking about her real life problems to him. Wanna save her. And they wanna yeah, save her, yeah. Save her, they're yeah. just trying to constantly save her, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see that kind of So they're heroes, thing. they're not simps, they're heroes. They actually, heroes. it's legitimately awesome. yeah. affecting her positively, yeah. You couldn't see it. If, let's say you're like, you're like always getting the shit kicked out of you in life, right? And then it it might make you feel like a strong guy to save someone. Yeah. Sure. And if she's like, I can't pay my fucking bills this right. year. And then it's like, all right, I got you, girl. Yeah. And she's like, there's, thank there's you. There's also the dark side of that, which is the guy who, uh, he's like, hey, I paid for this. You have to give me a thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Send me a titty now. Now yeah. provide the service. Yeah. I have paid you provided the service. That is the agreement. Have you guys ever mm. seen this in real life yet? Where I don't know if there's like a move that a lot of guys do. I feel like more now where they'll be like, let's say like a guy meets a, a girl, right? And then um, later on after like maybe like a day or two, they'll just like Venmo 80 bucks and be like, get yourself something nice today. Yeah. What? Yeah. A dude just randomly Venmo's Straight a girl? Up. Yeah. Why? That's, I don't know any dude that does that. It's not our generation, but like wow. it's a thing now. Well, they'll just be like, is that like a the, something transitory mm -hmm. about that? Mm -hmm. Like becomes because of like there's like a transaction, there's an expectation that like develops. They're gonna cash in later. It's I just think. a style of courting. It's weird to me, but like, or is it like style. streaming culture? Oh, you know yeah. how like you're streaming and you send gifts, yeah. But then now it's like, well, I'm streaming in real life, so I'll fucking just send a gift too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like if you talk to know. girls now, a lot of girls today have had that actual experience where a guy just for no reason was just like flexing in that way. Well, here's a question: When you talk to these girls or when you hear about it, are they like, "That was so weird"? It depends how old they are. Because you know, because younger they, girls, yeah. there are girls that are also like, if you ask them on a date. Have you seen these like things that like girls are like, oh, if you ask me on a date, you better send me the money to like look good. 
Oh, what wow. the yeah. fuck? I I've swear. Seen that. I've seen yeah. that on, on, on Twitter. It's not our culture at all, but fuck. it's yeah. real. It's But you don't go like, dude, we're just going to the beach. You just need a bikini. Well, no, they go. Oh, bikinis are expensive. Yeah. yeah, well, they go, <laughs> I, if I'm going to be there, I'm going to wear makeup. That yeah. costs me money. Send me money right? for nails. Yeah. 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 Right. It's expensive. That happened to my buddy. He was, he was on Tinder. He was talking to this girl, and they were about to hang out. And she was like, can you send me $300 from Erica? So I can look nice for you. Well, you don't respond back and go, come as you are. Oh. <laughs> that he should, I like that. you the way you are. But that's the litmus test. It's like, do you have enough financials to like, you know, be my. What happened to fucking like those candy cane grams you send in classrooms? <laughs> it's a dollar, yeah. you know, and they show up at fucking home <laughs> economics. <laughs> hey, Elizabeth, Mark sends you a candy cane. Yeah, that would light Ooh. up my day. Ooh, can't wait to fuck him later and suck him off. <laughs> <laughs> For a candy cane. Yeah. Because <laughs> in a way, that's that's also the same thing. That's financially simping too, you know. Oh, 100%. See, what's the definition of simping? I don't even know. But well, it was only one dollar. So you're good under the Anthony Lee scale. One percent. <laughs> yeah, one percent. I do think. You can even yeah. simp too hard for the girl you're dating. Because I remember one one time my friend had this very bad um, pattern where he falls so quickly, so fast, he scares the girls away, right? Yeah. So up. like... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Bart knows this person. But, um, yeah. But, like, like uh, I'll tell you who it is later. <laughs> but during the time he was with this girl... He, um, you know, he got expensive jewelry for her. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. And everyone was trying to tell him, like, you're, it's too early for that. Like, <laughs> oh, God. That's, <laughs> you guys, you know, really it has to be a special occasion. Like, I haven't even done that yet, and I'm with my girl for like a year or whatever. I'm like, you can't do that so quickly. Do you know how much the jewelry and was? And it was like a promise ring and all this shit. And Dude, I was a like, promise ring. Yeah, and he's not rich. Wow. But he hangs with rich people. Was it like a hundred dollar ring? Because that's a hundred. No, it was like right gold there. jewelry. It was like real jewelry. Thousand percent. And and, and by the time, by, we were all in college, so you know we're not fucking rich, mm -hmm. right? And so I was like, why are you doing this? And I'm like, yeah, you you like her a lot, but there's so many other ways to like show that. And then that girl, she's not even like that. So oh, it's like okay. he wants to go out of his way. So it's more for him then. It's yeah. like a weird exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. But it's it's too much too fast, which yeah. where like when girls get it, they're like, dude, this is like crazy. It's and then it's like he's it's sipping yeah. so hard that she's like, I don't like this. And then he repeatedly make this mistake because it's too intense. Yeah. Out of, and then it's almost like he's trying to buy love and oh. secure her quickly. And it was just weird, man. It's funny because uh, Smack did something like that to me in the beginning, and I thought she bought you a diamond ring. No, no, no. It was like we first were like, we were just like kind of first dating, and then uh, she surprised me by coming to a show I was at. Like I was, I was playing a a, a show with Fu. I was doing keyboards in Atlantic City, and then she surprised me by showing up. Because she was in California? That was mad weird. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah. She went across the fucking country? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you feel yeah. like, dude, you're ruining oh, my groupie experience. I was going to fucking... No, I wasn't, I wasn't like... I was still like exclusive to her, but I just oh. thought it was like too soon. Did you press the wrong key like... Bang! <laughs> saw, saw audience. You freaked out. Emotionally yeah, freaking yeah. sound. Because even, even my friends who were like on, on tour with me were like... They were like, hey, sorry, she like... Asked if she could surprise you. I didn't know what to say. So then they helped her get the info to like be at the spot, you know, like, and and then she was just with me for like two straight days. I was like, this is. Did you guys weird. have a relationship of like pranks and stuff she, though? No, Surprises? that that yeah, was surprises. it was a very like sweet romantic thing she was doing, but I was just like you were caught off guard. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not that into this chick yet. <laughs> it was just like way fast for me. That is pretty crazy. Me, if then, there's no like yeah. build up to it, like little alley oops yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but then I we, been happy. but then we like I, we could make fun of that, and yeah. it was fine. <clears throat> Cause, mm -hmm. cause I was honest about it, and True. we just it's we just timing. laughed about it. Yeah. It's just it got it caught you off guard. It's timing. Yeah. It's like yeah. you got lucky though, cause sometimes you're honest about it, and the chick fucking Balls. peels out. Yeah, just yeah, kills yeah, herself. Yeah, yeah. gone. Yeah, gone. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, in your yeah. case, maybe not mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we still laugh about it today, cause I was like, yo, I wasn't there yet, bro. <laughs> like it was rough. How much was your plane true. ticket? Over a hundred bucks. Hundred percent simp. Yeah, kind of. It was, yeah, I would say it was a same move, yeah. I do feel That's bad true. for dudes that, like, have a very clear void in their life. And so, however, they're trying to cover it up mm -hmm. and they have to, like... Buy affection? Yeah, like, express themselves, 
monetarily or like or I guess if you're rich it doesn't really matter but then if you have to detriment a part of your life to fill another void that part sucks isn't that just life though like some people like have companionship and don't have and they they feel this void in success or, or career you know what I mean it, it's just a different placement for it is all you know I, I, in I the weird in the weird way it's like all these guys that have like online girlfriends or OnlyFans or whatever, it's like, well, at least there's a mutual exchange. Somebody's benefiting from it. Yeah, them. I guess that's true. You know what I mean? Like, in a, really. in a weird way, yeah, somebody's getting their kids. Like, for example, college. right? Like, you know, there's like super rich people, shitty relationship with their kids. Uh -huh. So they buy all their friends' kids sick presents. Mm. And I'm like, dude, like, just spend time with your kid. And then you don't, but they're like, it's like mischanneled. Like, you see it as not attending to the issues and, then and it's like bat like just kind of yeah, yeah yeah it's gonna burst yeah. whether it's three years five years ten years who knows but it's like there's gonna be some sort of bursting yeah. of it i think there's a lot of adult entertainment that can turn into that easily like gambling or anything yeah but it's all about how the individual has a relationship like with porn or like anything that's like it can go really fucked up right so each individual has to figure out what their relationship is with that stimulant. Man's got to learn his limitations, as Clint Eastwood says. Yeah. yeah. So like, like, so like, yeah, a dollar, a, a, a dollar subscription could be too simpy for one, while the other person's just like, nah, just yeah, once in a while, it's not a big deal. I don't even check the subscription anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you say that if that if you weren't with Tiff, you would fall into this? <laughs> oh yeah, I would kind of think like uh, he is, a, because you know. I am. I feel like I'm naturally a simp, kind of. You know what I mean? I'm like naturally just a very uh, people pleasery kind of guy, mm -hmm. and especially you throw like romance. You would please in it. us if you showed up on time. <laughs> that one. That. that one. That one hit hard. Yeah. I, you know what? And you know what though? I'm actually changing my ways because I'm not gonna be that guy. I'm gonna be who I am. Yeah. Nine oh eight. Nine oh nine. Nine ten. <laughs> see, yeah. We'll see how late I get I tomorrow. To like, yeah. <clears throat> but you think that could have happened to you? Yeah, I think so. Wow, that, that could have happened. Let's say you're a millionaire at 21. You think you would, you would have fucking spent all kinds of money on? Oh yeah. <laughs> he would lose that so fast. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude. I was a I was a simp in high school. You know what I mean? It wasn't was until too, like sure. you I get your know, heart broken. But I think money. everyone. Yeah. That's they go, that's where we all okay, that's actually important too. He said we all go through that stage. It's part of yeah. the phase. Right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. We, you do, you and do. now we're mad at it because yeah. we yeah. fell right. for that. Sure. Right. Right? That's what it is for me. It's why, a right of That's why Nick's yeah, saying yeah. that he could have been that because he, he did do he, that. He, he had yeah. one girl. Oh. Yeah. You know I, mean? I could have definitely yeah, yeah, if yeah. Tiff was a bad lady and she wanted to fucking, you know, milk me for my two hundred dollars that I had in my name. I never been milked. Outside of my dick. <laughs> <laughs> my boy, I knew you were going to land it. I knew you were going to land it. But even when we were younger and we were going through that sim stage, I think we still thought it was silly to spend money for a virtual girlfriend. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think our line was still... But we didn't have you know virtual what? girlfriends at the time the way they no. do now. But you yeah. think about the onboarding of how easy it is for guys to like just get their nuts off on porn and to feel somewhat of that dopamine hit that we talked about. Yeah. Like that become, and then the frequency of that is also alarming. Where you see all these kids with, I, I don't understand why they have so many ED commercials for like young guys, like marketing mm. towards. And I and I, you, people talk about how porn and- It's porn psychological. Is, yeah, is, is, is stopping these guys from getting boners at 20 I, years old. I think it does do porn. that, yeah. Definitely. But I feel like Nick would be a simp for friends and everything. Like, if he was a millionaire, everyone would just be like, Nick, help me, he'll help everybody. Hey, if you just were like a multi-billionaire tomorrow, would you actually just give us hella money? I don't know, dude. Billionaire? Yeah, he's yeah cheap? why the fuck not? He I'm just cheap. said he doesn't know. He said he doesn't know because he's cheap as fuck. I don't know. I don't so know. Here, I have I don't a Remember, one dollar is one percent. I'll sit for you, motherfuckers. So I'm really trying to understand Anthony's point. So, like, here's a question. Yeah. No, no, I'm serious. I'm, ser I'm no, no, I'm not, I'm not fucking around. It's not okay. my point. Well, it's say, my um, empathetic it's understanding. <laughs> but like, let's say you really like Lambos, right? Uh -huh. You can't afford one. Yeah. Is renting one for a day is that unhealthy? <laughs> that's simping technically, right? You're just trying to fill a void or you're trying to like. You know what I mean? And then you're like, but it's mutually beneficial transactionally. The guy that's renting it to is making money. You get to experience it for a day. I guess it depends. How many pictures did you take inside of it? <laughs>
Oh. And is it the one that's on Hollywood Boulevard just waiting to be rented? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to me, it's that. To me, it's what are you doing it for, right? Are you pretending that you own it or are you just like, hey, you I want to check it out? I want to experience how this is, right. like, just yeah. for a day. Because, like, know? I've I've always wanted to get into, uh, like, a fucking space simulator or whatever the fuck. Oh, yeah. cool. I can't say I'd be filming it the whole fucking time. But like, I would love to do like all that shit. My, my father-in-law recently just, um, there was this whole thing about how he was flying to Hawaii for something and then he's like, oh, but like I, I paid for an upgrade. I, I like entered into the lottery for an upgrade to first class and then I won it. And then so that means I got to pay $500 and I would be able to ride first class or something like that. Right? I've seen that thing. It's not a winning lottery. Yeah, but the, here's the thing. At first, my first gut reaction was like, dude, like y'all already got like money problems. Like this, I don't know if this was the right thing. But then I had to like back up for a second and be like, he lived his whole life, he's never flown first class. You know what I mean? So to like experience one time, I was like, how can you get mad at that? Dude, Do it again, you got a problem. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think that's necessary. But it's like, if you wanted to just fucking once- Just to life, know? Yeah, yeah I'm okay. like, dude, fucking do you. Dude, first class is way sicker than OnlyFans though, for sure. Oh. <laughs> way <laughs> sicker. <laughs> Bro. But what if what? you had OnlyFans flat attendant? No, you don't. You, no, you, you know you don't. You always get some dude. No, bro. It's always some dude. No fucking way. I think that is that's the, that is a difference. I feel like it's like, are you really trying to cosplay as this thing, or are you just like? Trying and also, to how much are you zooming out? Because if you zoom out even more, it could be like, hey, sir, it's all these first time things that you're doing is causing you this financial pain. Because yeah. everything's gonna be a first time oh, thing. My yeah. first time getting champagne service. My first time eating at this mission that's star restaurant. My first, you know, it doesn't but, end. Yeah, that's what everyone does though. Like, uh, like you know, like my, uh, like my parents and in-laws. They all like saved up for so long to do certain experiences, right? It's like yeah. we want to go to. You know, uh, Hawaii, right? We want to go yeah. when we're in Hawaii. We want to eat at the nicest restaurant That's in Hawaii. Crazy. It's not their lifestyle. It's not like yeah. who they are. Yeah. It's something they want to experience. Yeah. But the thing about OnlyFans, like, talk. If you're a guy and you're having a a relationship with a OnlyFans person, is that healthy for their brain <laughs> long term? Yeah. Like, what is what is the repercussions I, of that for I that would, individual? Is that doing healthy. more harm? Yeah. Is that doing yeah. more harm for their life, or is that bettering their life? Hey, it's dude, but all I'm saying is teach their own. It's like me being like, sure. I love drinking alcohol, where clearly it's bad for me. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah but it's you like do it in moder- you, that's, I think but, that's the but, moderation comes into play. But you also know that it's bad for you. Yeah. And you know that you can't do this all the time, and it's not something that you're doing in secret and you're kind of doing by yourself, right? right. That's the other weird thing about it is like, how many of these guys were openly talking about how they subscribe and talk to these girls? That's why the, the closest thing I can, I, can, I can associate it to is addiction. Because you can be a casual drinker, but you can be an alcoholic. Yeah. And it's the same thing with, with a, you can be a casual jacker, but you could be an obsessive jackaholic. Jackaholic. Just a casual jacker. Did, did you guys ever think in your life you would ever hear the issue that men are having that they're they're watching too much porn and they're masturbating too much. Did you guys ever think in your lifetime you would hear that? Hear that about? As your soon as I watched my first porno, I, I saw. I said, "Oh, this is dangerous." Yeah. <laughs> really? It's yeah, I think it warps, yeah. it warps your like, expectations and and, yeah. and then think about having an online girlfriend like that. Yeah, I do remember so going scary. when I was 13 when I jacked off the first time, and then after you get soft when you bust, I'm like, I think they planned it like this on purpose. Yeah. Or else I'll be jacking for 12 hours straight. <laughs> yeah. 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 That immediate, dude, the immediate after guilt. Yeah. And he's like, oh, get, the, get yeah. this shit out of here. Uh, <laughs> I gotta take a nap. I'm like, I was designed this way. Dude, and they said the, mo the, more, <laughs> the most fun. visited sites of all time are all porn sites. Oh, yeah, 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 by yeah, far, yeah. right? All so then, it, then you zoom out and you go, well. Also the most yeah, profitable yeah. mediums for every technological breakthrough is yeah. porn. Exactly. Yeah. So then we Magazine. go like, well. Yeah. What are we setting ourselves up for? Is the question. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You ever you ever been fucking your chick and then afterwards you get the post nut and then you're like, I called you a lot of names. <laughs> <laughs> I just try to say silent. I also left a lot of Timberland logos in the back. 